Well, that's what I need on my van. That's a great way to get around town. Hey, y'alls. Been spending the more. Oh, going through a tunnel here. Oh, let there be light. And there was. So I desperately need a shower at this point. I haven't found any private secluded places that I can back into and pull out my propane shower and just take a shower out in the woods. But if uh, I see something like that, I will pull over. They do have Anytime Fitness out here. I've seen that, but I don't have a gym pass for that. I haven't seen a 24-hour fitness. People have recommended that I check out Stanley Park. So I'm on my way to do that. That's an hour from where I'm at. I've been hanging out in White Rock, BC. Oh my God, I'm so sneaky. So T-Mobile cut me off, they throttled me. And now I can't download all my podcasts. It goes really slow. So I saw a Starbucks on the corner and I just pulled over to the side and I connected and I'm just like downloading them all real quick. <laughs> Sneaky. They didn't pay you no bucks, but thank you Starbucks. When you look overhead, there's all these wires for the bus, the electrical lines. It's crazy how that works. Wouldn't that be cool if uh, the van had some of those little antenna things? Like, can you see it over there on that bus? And I could just recharge my batteries like that real quick. Just slurp up some electric right into the batteries. Look at that rat's nest right there. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, I've not seen that before. That's cool. Tiffany says, ooh, I want that hopping bus. <laughs> a Chevron gas station on the water with a plane landing in the background. Oh wow, this is a pretty dang unique view. Wow, 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 wow. So I'm in Stanley Park. Wow, 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 wow. Check this out, this is so crazy. There is a Chevron gas station for boats right out there on the water. And check out this view, huh? Downtown Vancouver, BC. Wow, 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 wow. Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Hey guys, so Stanley Park was cool. It closed at 5 p.m. and it's dark now. And what I do to find a place, I can't really park in the city, Not I don't know a place where to. Uh, what I do to find a place, usually in a new city, is I'll uh, Google um, the term Reddit, that's a forum, and then I'll type van dwelling, and then the city, so Vancouver, uh, BC. And then you'll get people, you know, talking about, you know, asking the question like, hey, where can I park around here? And then there's a huge van dwellers forum, and there's a, you get a lot of great information out of there. So basically, I just use Reddit, the van dweller subreddit, and it looks like Glen Drive is what people are talking about as a place where van dwellers can safely park near the city. So I'm heading there now. It's like 30 minutes. So.
Uh, good morning. So I parked on Glen, uh, right off of Glen Drive, uh, and there's a few other van dwellers over here. Maybe that is uh, just incredible. Same kind of van. Uh, but um, I've been in a cocoon back there, man. You just get sucked into editing. Someone said, they just left a comment, editing is like a black hole. You enter and you don't know when you're going to get out. <laughs> you don't know where, where you're going to end up, and that's how I feel. But I got um, like two or three videos done, so that's three days of recording. So that's awesome. But man, I put a lot of time into this crap. Um, and thank you to my one Patreon subscriber. Uh, yeah, so right now, um, the GPS, T-Mobile, they blocked me. Like, um, I'm not getting any data, so I tried to uh, punch in Starbucks, and uh, it says that I'm offline. Okay, so I don't know, I don't have any connectivity at this point, so uh, I need to upload these videos. And uh, yeah, oh, it's 43 degrees, and a lot of speed bumps, and um, my solar panels are not loving it. Yeah, I'm down, it's just going down, down, down every day. So when the sun comes out, it's like it shoots back up, but there hasn't been any sun, man. So I don't know how one awesome inch does it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a hold of him today. He says he can meet in the evening. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. All right, cool, talk to you guys later. So I found a Starbucks without Google Maps. That was easy, they're everywhere, but I can't find a parking spot. The only places that I see are open, they say parking only with permit. So that sucks. The only places I can find are places that have these signs that say you can only park with a permit. Get a load of this sign here, the name of this park. Dude, chillin'. <laughs> How awesome is that, the name of that park there? Uh, this is frustrating. I don't think I would want to live here. It's a great city, but if, you, if I can't park here, I can live the hell. I am seeing a lot of vans here and that makes sense van city is what they call it right make out that faintly glowing object in the sky that's what they call the sun here in vancouver yeah that passes for the sun yeah my solar panels don't agree though uh yeah this is gonna be tough hey i got a parking spot it's only a uh, half a mile away uphill to starbucks but dude i'm chilling you know just like this guy right here this is what they call the sun in Vancouver, BC. 40 degrees right now, it's pretty cold. I had to go back to the van and double up on socks. I lost some heat out of my feet. And, uh, oh shit, I think I'm violating some court orders right now. God, uh, right now, it feels like when I'm in California and I open the refrigerator and stick my head in it. It's freaking cold here, man. Look at this. This dude is chilling right outside of the Dude Chillin' Park. Isn't that an awesome name for a park? Dude, chillin'. Dude, chillin'. I just got out of the Starbucks. I was editing some videos. And man, Canadians are incredibly friendly. Look at this sign. Come say hi. Yes, that's why they're so friendly. Uh, the person that was sitting right next to me saw me and he was just curious. He's like, hey, is that a new laptop? Or, or what kind of laptop is that? Just started talking. And I, you know, we just, it was a gamut of different topics. And we went over like, uh, gosh, we talked about the taboo politics, we talked about legalization of marijuana. I think the uh, Canada, the House just uh, passed the bill to legalize recreational marijuana. We talked about just a few different topics, so the differences between uh, America, or the, sorry, the states, as they call it, <clears throat> and Canada. Anyway, the point here is that people are freaking friendly, man. There's no way. In all of my time in the states, I've never had someone just sit next to me in Starbucks and just chat me up. I, I don't get it. Do I have like a, a foreigner look, you know, and they're just curious? I don't know. I, I think they're just really, really friendly here, man. Which is awesome. I am super hungry. I'm gonna get some of that Thai, son. You know what I'm saying? I ordered Pad Thai and they told me, no, it's a Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> As a van dweller, I've become an earplug aficionado, so it's really cool to see all these different types of earplugs they have here. Oh my god, I have been looking for these eyeglass cleaner cloths everywhere, and I finally found them. The cool thing about Canada is everything, as an American, is 25% off because of the currency exchange rate. So it's like everything's on sale. 
I was looking for a restroom. They call them washrooms here. I bet I'd sound pretty American if I said, ask that question. Yes, a bunch of them. It's retractable type. Yes, yeah, perfect for the van. As you can see, it says Dollar Land. I had a few people refer to that place as the Dollar Store, but if you look at the price on this, it's uh, it says three ninety nine, so that's hardly a dollar. She called it the Few Dollar Store. Uh, I asked the lady about that, and she said, "Well, they opened it up years ago, and they didn't want to rename it, so it's just called Dollar Land." <laughs> well, that was a productive visit. I got my back scratcher, I got the restroom, and I got my eye cleaning, my glasses. I for my, win my windshields, my eye windshields, I got those clean. So that was actually a really productive uh, shopping spree. And I got the 25% off American discount. Mobile data prices are just the worst here. Look how expensive it is. <laughs> now I'd buy that for a dollar. Just one stinking dollar. You're making me holla for just one dollar. Said you're making me holla for just one stinking dollar. You're making me holler for just one dollar. Making me holla for just one stinking dollar. Come on now, boys. Why you gotta make me holla for just one dollar? Come on now. Don't make the boy holla for just one dollar. Don't do that to the boy. Damn, that ain't a lot of money, son. Why you make him holler like that? You gonna do that to him? You gonna make the boy holler for just one stinking little tiny dollar? You gonna make that boy holler? Come on now. Don't do that to the boy. What the boy do to you? What the boy do to you? Don't make the boy holler. Just give him a dollar. Take it easy on the boy. Don't make him. Don't do that to the boy. Okay, I'm officially looking like crazy person all these people are looking at me walking across the road jaywalking singing songs yeah, look what you guys make me do for that dollar the great thing about acting crazy in a city you just blend in you look like the homeless population it's no big deal i'm telling you the boy done lost his mind he ain't right he just ain't right crossing the country in a van boy hasn't showered in a week okay i just had a realization I am the homeless population. Oh, shit. I done lost my mind. This it's all a ruse. Not true. It's all fake news. Russia is a ruse. Fake. It's all fake news. The news is fake because so much of the news is fake. One of the reasons I'm here today is to tell you the whole Russian thing, that's a ruse. Russia is fake news. Russia, this is fake news. Well, I own nothing in Russia. I have no loans in Russia. Talk all you want about Russia. I don't have any deals in Russia. Tomorrow the headlines are going to be Donald Trump rants and raves. The press is out of control. Dishonesty is out of control. We're not going to let it happen because I'm here again to take my message straight to the people. Russia is a ruse. Fake. It's all fake news. It's all a ruse. Not true. It's all fake news. Russia is a ruse. Fake. It's all fake news. The news is fake because so much of the news is fake. Hillary Clinton gave Russia 20% of the uranium in our country. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Hillary gave away 20% of the uranium in the United States. She's close to Russia. I didn't do anything for Russia. Tomorrow you'll say, Donald Trump wants to get along with Russia. This is terrible. This is terrible. Russia is a ruse. Fake. It's all fake news. It's all a ruse. Not true. It's all fake news. Russia is a ruse. Fake. It's all fake news. The news is fake because so much of the news is fake. Oh, what the fuck, bruh?